Hello guys! Quick video from me today as well. Well, quick and quick, I guess you know me by now. Quick is often <laughs> a little bit longer than anticipated, but um, I'm just going to make a video about importing models into, for instance, Orca Slicer. I'm using Orca Slicer because it's my pr preferred one. I do not know how it is like in Prusa, but I think it's the same in Bamboo Studio. Um, let's say you have uh, a multi-object model that you made in um, Fusion 360, like here. This is a, a model I made. And you can see that there are different parts here. I'm going to print them in different colors. And uh, there are two ways you can export this out. Like now everything is up and showing. And if I go to File and export and select STL file then it will be saved in a pretty low resolution STL file or you can go and do each of these file print and then use the export feature of the print window and then you can go and you can select that you want to define it with a, a higher resolution than than it is and then you save all the models now the second problem comes when you when you go into your slicer uh, if you go into your slicer, you click here and you just select all the files that you have exported and press open. Then you get this object from fire, blah, 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 is too small and may not be in meters or inches. So I'll just press no to all of these because I know that is a just ludicrous message. And this happens. Nothing is aligned and you would have to manually move everything into place and that's just a nightmare. Now. I'm going to show you how you can do this a lot better. Now, please note the steps I go through here. So I'll just press Ctrl Z, click to import the object. And then you need to find the object that is at the lowest point, like here in Fusion 360. I have a lowest point here, which is this. It's it's a 0.5 millimeter, um, what should I call it, uh, base layer which is going to be printed in gold. And the way uh, exporting or printing or exporting works in Fusion 360 uh, when you export it an STL file is that it will keep its uh, space uh, placement. So you have like the letters here, they are sort of on top and inside of the, like if I do like this, you will see that the letters are actually protruded into the into the model a little bit and then they come out on top. Now normally if you would import that object alone into Orca Slicer it would all stick to the bottom of the face base plate and that is not what you want. But because exporting Fusion 360 uh, as an STL file remembers the um, spatial awareness of where the object was in the original placement you can do it as I'm doing now. <coughs> so you go back to Orca Slicer and you select the first body. Really important because everything will sort of stack at, as, with that as a reference. reference. So I'm going to select the bottom gold, open, and then you can do one and one or you can basically right click and don't select open there. Really important, don't open there. Go add part. Make sure you have selected this first object and then you select add part load and then you select all the other objects except the main object this one which you had before and you press open now it will not give you a question and as you can see oh it looks like I need to fix one of the models Give me a second, guys. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think it's this one. Uh, yeah. There. Okay. It's just a weird cutout here I did. So I have to export. Uh, which one was it? As you can tell, nothing ever goes as planned. I think that is the big gold one, but I think it's the gold and the other one. So I'll do both of them. 
So it's this one and this one. So I'll export that one again. File, print, preview, and refine. And then drag it all the way down. So now it's saved as a higher resolution STL file. Save. Yes, I want to replace. And I'll do the next one. File, print, and replace. Okay, save. Yes. There. Now I'll go back to Orca Slicer, Control Z, and I'll just start all over. Find the body. Okay, that's the first one. And then I'll add part, load, and now it will remember all the placements, like the letters will end up where they're supposed to be and everything. So open. And there should not be a visible edge here. Actually, now it's protruding too much. So that makes me wonder why. It should not move. So, how big is that gap? Anyway, I'll fix that later. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that it is an easy way to do it. So, normally I will fix that. It's just a small glitch in uh, the way I did the extrusion there. So, then I will show you that the letters are in the right placement. I'll just make everything black first. Uh, set filament black and then I'll change all the letters which I talked about earlier it's be gold and then you have this is gold this is gold this is gold and this is gold set gold and voila and you can see you don't actually have to drag anything into place except for a small one there that is a little bit out of whack I'll fix that and um, so that was just a way of showing how you can easily uh, uh, import your separate STL files which you exported as part of an assembly uh, and have a perfect alignment within Orca Slicer without problems. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Oh, like and subscribe.